Hey everybody, Mike here. We'll do a real quick overview on this Fluke TS52 Pro. This is just one of your standard test sets. If you're already in the network or communications industry, or if you're just getting into it, one of the first big purchases you'll make is probably gonna be one of these test sets like so. I've had one of these since day one when I first started in the industry over 15 years ago. I started off with a TS44. Most recently, within the last couple of years here, I did upgrade to this 52 Pro. The biggest difference between that TS44 and this 52, I'm not sure if any models are in between that or not, but on this 52, you got the addition of the digital display that's on the back side of this thing. And there's a little bit of different button configuration on, on this as well. For most part, this thing does all the same features the TS44 does, but just a couple added extra features. If you've never used one of these before, well, I'll give you a real quick overview on this thing. You got your keypad on the back. This has a, the built-in DSL filter, so you're able to clip on a line and monitor go off hook and not shut down your DSL if you're still working in that environment. It does have the ability, it'll shoot you that tone. If you clip on a line, it's got data transfer going on on it. And then you can hit your override button down here at the bottom to go back to dial tone, go off hook, and be able to test your line. These are extremely handy, and not just like the telecommunications industry where if you're out working in the field, they've got the ruggedness and everything to be able to handle that just fine. But a lot of guys will end up using these on phone systems and things as well. Especially when you use these in conjunction with like a banjo, you can test different port. You clip these on your banjo, and then you can hook your RJ11 line cord into your you know random test panel, pass panel, whatever it is you're working on, and be able to test your lines, phone systems, and you name it. You get the ability to store different speed dials in this thing as well by hitting your recall button, typing in your number, hit your store program button here at the top, and then the number you want that preset to be, and you're able to store that in there. So if you've got numbers you use quite frequently, for me, I use the ANAC line a lot when I'm doing a line identification. So I've got that set of speed dial one, and then I've got a few others like a line opener and things of that nature as well. On the back side here, it's pretty simple. You got your volume button. There's a couple different volumes you can run this at, and then you've got your speaker. So you can actually two-way speaker this thing and not have to have it up to your head. And then you've got a mute button here as well. And then when you clip onto a pair or plug into a test port, you got your monitor on the side and then you can go off hook as well. The nice thing about the LCD screen for me is the ability to have the caller ID if you can see what line you're calling in from or the numbers you're dialing. But it also shows you the line voltage as well. So if you're working on anywhere between 48 or 52 volts systems, it'll show you that voltage on the screen or if it's too low, it'll, it'll show you as well. That might be a good indicator as whether you got a fault on the pair or whatnot, you need to go search and figure out what's going on. I've been using this thing for a couple years now. Still got my TS44, that thing's working fine. It's nice just keeping that one as a backup. These things are advertised as having a 20 foot fall protection to them. I'll be honest, I've probably dropped these things for 30 feet before and I've done it multiple times. They do a really good job of taking a fall. I hate to admit that, I've done that several times, but it's just the nature of the beast when you're working in this industry. If you've been doing this any period of time like I have, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The clip up here can be moved from the top or bottom. It comes usually installed on the bottom. I kind of prefer mine on the top. That way I can just clip it to a strand or something I'm working on like so, and I can, I can just work with this hands-free, and I've got it hung up where I need it to be. <clears throat> if you're in the market for a new test set, whether it be just upgrading from one of them old stool style test sets, or you're just getting into the industry, check out this one made by Fluke. This is the TS52 Pro. I've been extremely happy with this thing over the years. This thing's gonna help get you down the road. It is somewhat of an investment. I guarantee if you're working anywhere in the telephony industry, it's gonna help you tremendously in the job on a daily basis. That's all I got for you in this quick review, guys. Appreciate you watching. I'll catch you on the next one.